body. You can ignore most of this stuff. Half of it doesn't end up on the page. I will be using the Enjoy Circle, the other em circle embellishment, the 6x6 watercolor sheet, and the shell stamps. I'm going to leave everything in so that you can see the process. I started out with one idea and ended up tossing it about a third of the way in. I'm not even sure what that idea was. So I'm marking this sheet at 8 inches, then I'm going to line it up on the trimmer and trim the length down to 8 inches. This photo that I'm scrapbooking is from Guido's. 20 some odd years ago, my husband and I had our first real date at Guido's on the seawall in Galveston. And there's a whole story behind it and it played out like a scene from a ridiculous rom-com. If it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have believed it. A few months ago, we decided to go back and have lunch. We enjoyed the food, the service was great, the bill was higher than I remember. This is definitely a once in a while type of splurge. I trimmed the floral paper and that watercolor scripty background paper to a six, a six inch mat for my photo. I've got this space in the upper right corner where nothing of real importance to the story is going on. So I'm looking at using that space to lay down my title, Enjoy. I'm not sure this stuff makes it to the final layout either. This is from a watercolor resist pad that I got from Michaels. I think it's by Recollections. I'm going to cut out some sentiments with the idea that I'll use sprays to match the color that I've got going on in the layout so far. Now this flower is from the same watercolor resist pad and I colored it in about a year ago and it's just been sitting in my stash. If I remember right, I used um, fountain pen inks to color this one. Um, those inks were Apache Sunset by Noodlers, Yamabudo by Iroshizuku, and Diamine Sher Sherwood Green, I think. The background just isn't working for me on this layout. I want something with a little more punch, a little brighter. So I went with a two-tone neutral. You'll see. There we go. That's more like it. I trimmed the neutral sheet down to about seven and a half by seven and a half so that I'd have that nice bright pink border about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Obviously the printed flower isn't bright enough, so I'm going to cover it up with another flower. Now I'm looking at the final layout right now and I was right, those, those, um, Watercolor resist things did not end up on the page. I think the spray is Cherry by Tattered Angels. And I'm using an old shipping box that I tore the bottom off of just to keep the spray from going everywhere. As you can see, I use it often. I kept going with the nautical theme here. Over the years, I've built up a bit of a collection of mini blueprint stamps from Tim Holtz. I picked this set up with this layout and a couple of other layouts in mind. If you end up with a lot of beach, swimming pool, or aquarium photos, it's a good set to have. 
Knowing that I wanted to watercolor over the images, I stamped these out in archival inks. If you know you're going to use watercolor or even think you just might, be sure to use inks that won't activate with water. There's that cherry spray from Tattered Angels. I'm gonna pick it up with a water brush and just give the conch shell a light wash of pink. A comparable distress spray might be festive berries, but you'd have to water it down a lot. This next spray is Sunshine from Tattered Angels. If you wanted to use a comparable distress spray, a watered down squeezed lemonade would work. I'm going to focus this on the other two images, but I'm going to add in varying levels of pinks to make them a little different from each other. Finally, I'm adding Heidi Swap Teal to the conch. It's more of a baby blue rather than a teal, and if you want to use a comparable distress spray, probably tumbled glass or broken china would do it. The problem with using distress sprays for work like this is that they don't layer very well. If you wanted to add the blue on top of the pink, you'd reactivate the pink and they'd mix into a purple. This time I chose to fussy cut around the edges of the image. If you wanted to do something like this, you could also add color to the background and try fussy cutting around the measurement markings and label. I've done that on a couple of projects and it just gives it a, a slightly different feel. And I really need to get a better camera for these kinds of shots or learn to keep my hands in the frame. Dina and I were looking at upgrading my vlogging camera and whatever we purchase, I'll probably use the same one for my crafting videos. I'm going to try to edit out any coughing from this voiceover. We're still recovering from a nasty cold. And everybody thought it was allergies, including me. And then Dean got sick and Dean doesn't have allergies. This crud started in our sinuses and has moved into our chests. Getting videos done has been such a challenge. Every night I come home and I tell myself I'm going to edit or I'm going to do voiceovers or I'm going to film. And by eight o'clock, my body is just like, I'm done. I'm out. Good night. Now I've got all the pieces, I just need to rip up my photo and put it back down straight. There we go. Then we'll adhere everything down and layer some embellishments. These aren't Nouveau Drops, they're Stickles. Very similar, but they're a Ranger product. You can use them where you'd normally use enamel dots. They have a bit of a pearlized sheen to them, and you have to be careful to let them dry, and I wasn't careful. I'm going to end up smearing a green dot in the lower left-hand corner.
These little adhesive gems come from the bargain bins at Joanne Crafts. I think they were $2 for a pack and they've got several different sizes in a pack. Thank you very much for watching the stash bashing layout. If you enjoyed this video, stick around for links to more videos. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll get notified about new videos. Next week, I'll bring you on a weekly planning session. As always, links to supplies are listed below and there are more details in my blog post also linked below. Have an awesome week.